When you think of New York City, you think of Times Square, tall buildings, the Statue of Liberty, Broadway, and of course the subway. But Showtime performances on the subway are about as New York as it gets. When people see us on the train and we be dancing on the train, it's not only like, oh, we dance on the train for money. We dance on the train just to like do something really positive. Like a lot of people don't see it as positive, but it's really, it's really trying to be positive. We appeal to a lot of people. Then again, there's a lot of people who despise us. But whether you're a fan of the outsider artistry or not, subway performing is against the law in New York. And in 2014, then Commissioner Bill Bratton started a crackdown and began arresting the subway dancers in high numbers. They just want to arrest us and just take us to like the precinct or like the bookings and then sit. Like, they don't want to give us tickets no more. <laughs> they started just putting the cuffs on us, taking us to the precinct. It happened to me about 10, 12 times. However, the risk of getting a ticket or even getting arrested it's worth it to the performers, considering the high cost of living of New York City. The money that we make, it helps us provide for ourselves. It, it helps us provide for our family. It helps us provide for anything which needs to be done. New York is a city made for the outsider artists. But we feel like there's several opportunities out there, so we're trying to do whatever to get it. It's up to you.